Hello, I'm Lynn Gilmartin, anchor of the World Poker Tour, and please sit back and relax because there's a lot going on this week on the WPT. Starting off with a very special ceremony that we had this week, honoring the dear Mike Sexton. We have officially named the World Poker Tour's Hallmark Trophy that travels around the main tour and every new champion has their name etched on that Champions Cup. It has now been officially renamed the Mike Sexton WPT Champions Cup. We had a really nice, intimate WPT family, virtual of course, ceremony this week. Uh, just to celebrate Mike and to, to relish in his commemoration and it was just really lovely and here are some words from Mike himself. He said, I was thrilled to get my name on the WPT Champions Cup in Montreal in 2016. In 15 seasons in the WPT commentator booth, I can attest firsthand how difficult it is to win a WPT main event, he said. Now I thought being inducted into the Poker Hall of Fame would be the greatest moment of my career but to have the WPT Champions Cup named in my honor and be part of the experience for all WPT champions moving forward is truly the highest peak in my 40 years in poker. Thank you to the World Poker Tour for this humbling distinction. We love you, Mike. Now, five of these Mike Sexton WPT Champions Cups are going to be awarded over the next couple of months during the WPT World Online Championships on Party Poker. And we're moving on to that news. Now, right now we are in the midst of the WOC with 12 championship events and five of these will be Mike Sexton WPT Champions Cup events, which also come with a $15,000 seat into the next WPT Tournament of Champions presented by Baccarat Crystal. They'll also receive a set of everyday Baccarat Crystal tumblers and a luxury Hublot watch. Now, all 12 championship events are going to be streamed on Party Poker's Twitch with a one hour delay allowing for the display of whole cards. And we are about to wrap up ELO week and it started with event number one, the $500,000 guaranteed $3,200 buy-in PLO high low. It came to a finish when Paul Tedeschi, Dan Shack, and Ansi Kintala made a three-way deal. And you can watch the entire final table play out with commentary from Matt Savage, Jeff Gross, and James Dempsey over on Party Poker's Twitch. In fact, there's a ton of streamed poker that you can watch as all 12 of the WPT WOC main events will be streamed, plus some others like the 10K PLO high roller. Uh, Pedro Zagallo won that for just shy of $200,000 for first place. Pedro Kings, more than happy to get it in. Won't like seeing this, but will like seeing that flop. Hearts on the turn, wow. Wow, these cars ran out too fast for me, guys, but wow, what a turn that was. But can we just take a moment to have a look at the championship streams graphics. Have a look at how good this looks. Now, the whole theme of the WOC and the intention really behind it is to try and bring that live experience into the online realm. And there's a few different things that have happened, like, you know, no more than two day ones, huge guarantees, a hundred million dollars in guarantees over the entire series, real names being used uh, throughout the tournament series rather than usernames. But look at this, like this moment, right before the final table started of event number one, it really felt like the moment, as, as close as possible, it felt like that moment that we have at the HyperX Esports Arena as the players are taking their seats before the final table. So you can see the table there, you can see all of the players' names uh, around the table and their chip stacks ready to go, but the cards aren't in the air yet. And you've got Matt Savage there and James Dempsey there, and they're doing their commentary thing. And they're talking about what's going on, setting up the game. And you can just imagine each of those players sitting there in front of their computer, ready to play some cards and to play out this final table and to play for huge amounts of money. You know, perhaps they're a little nervous and maybe they've got their playlist going. Maybe they've got some family members with them. Who knows? But it's their own intimate setting to play in this, championship event um it just really felt like that exciting moment setting up a final table in real life i just have to say i'm so proud of how good this looks uh the streams are really great to follow the next one is on tuesday for event number two it's another plo event um and of course joe ingram the man of the plo the great game he will be joining james dempsey on that final table commentary and again that's all on party poker's twitch account there's plenty over the next couple of months for the most up-to-date information on the World Online Championships, there's a few places that you can get it. 
Make sure you look out for Alex Gray's video updates twice a week. She'll be filling you in on who's winning what and what's coming up next. And that's available on all of WPT's social media outlets. Also once a week for a bit of fun, we've got Savage Beats by Matt Savage. Here's a little preview. Our new of the week is a tough one because it turns out to be the right fold. When the board comes King 9-5, Marcel Souza makes it 195,000. Mike Patrick with Ace King, top pair, top kicker, he lays it down. That's our knit of the week. It was the right move, but I still think it's pretty nitty. And for really detailed information, we've got written write-ups about all of our events, because remember the feature of championship events also have mini and micro versions, plus we've got a bunch of events in between as well. Uh, so for written reports, just head to the WPT homepage and you can find all of the news that you need on the World Online Championships right there. Now here's Alex Gray to tell you about a special event that's coming up in just a couple of days as part of the World Online Championships. Starting this July 29th, some of the most recognizable faces in poker and beyond will have a $500 bounty on their head in our $500,000 guaranteed WPT Shooting Stars charity event. Party Poker is pledging all registration fees to the charity One Day Sooner, whose mission is to advocate on behalf of volunteers for the COVID-19 human control trials with the ultimate goal of the development of a vaccine. Some of the shooting stars include Party Poker Ambassador Sam Trickett and Poker Pro Igor Kurganov, who has pledged to donate any possible winnings to One Day Sooner. A $1,100 buy-in will secure your seat amongst the stars, with $100 being donated to One Day Sooner. take a look at what some of our players are doing off the felt. WPT Alpha 8 regular Bill Perkins is about to release a book and I've got him here on the line to chat about it. Right. Uh, my book, Die With Zero, uh, Die With Zero Regrets, but it's it's ultimately about getting the most out of your life. It's really a book about living contrary to the title. The title is jarring. It's like, what? I don't want to talk about that. But uh, it's, it's really about being present. It's about um, getting the most you can out of your life no matter what resources you have. Um, it's really about what decisions you make and kind of what constitutes your life, what generally fulfills people and how to get the most out of it. You know, we, we just kind of, death is this thing kind of way out there that we, we hope is way out there. We really, we really don't think about, you know, our hours uh, coming to an end. And the fact is that it, it does. I have actually a countdown on my phone to my estimated death. Um, I'm actually typing furiously to uh, open it. I don't know. I've shown this before. I don't know if you can see that counter. Yeah. You can see that counter. That's counting backwards, if you noticed. And that's that's to the day I died. That's 12,974 days, 11 hours, three, se three minutes and 25 seconds. So I... I <laughs> that's a wake-up call. An estimate, you know? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's the wake up call. It gives me a sense of urgency, you know, it gives me each day a purpose. And also, you know, when you when you break it down in months and weeks, you're like, oh, that's 420 something. That doesn't seem that long, you know? And so it, it brings me to the now. It's like, okay, before you die, right? A lot of people think like, if you were going to die tomorrow, what you want to do? I was like, well, you know, if you were going to die 426 months, you know, what, what, what would you do? What things do you want to accomplish? that are appropriate for you now and how do you get how do you get how do you get your head off autopilot and into the space of, of living i i meet all kinds of fascinating people uh even you know especially in the poker community i was going to say even in the poker community and you know i, I ran that experiment called um thirst lounge the thirst lounge is still there and we have these guys and and, and and one of the guys who really i envy is matt Forsyth because like he lives in his car Right. He's traveling around. He has this like magnificent adventure. You know, he's, you know, he's gone to countries beforehand. I did this thing called the coin flip trip with them and sponsored that. But it was like really, really, really a low budget thing where they would either live on like, I don't know, was it 50 bucks a day or 500, you know? And, but Matt was doing that like on like almost like zero bucks a day in his car traveling around having like the greatest adventure, you know, of which I'm envious of. And so, you know, I get a, I get some flack from people like, well, it's easy when you're a billionaire, which I'm not, but, you know, I spend like one. Uh, 
you, you do have, you know, if, you know, what two, th two things that Matt has plenty of is, is, is time is, um, he's got time and he's got his health and he's, in my opinion, he's making choices to have a very full adventure based on whatever resources he have. As you make it in poker or you make it in life, you'll have money. And I'm here to make sure that you, the time you spent making that money wasn't time wasted. A philosophy, so, if you will. <laughs> okay, because that, yeah, what would be the reading experience of this book? Is it kind of a guide that you can follow with practical strategies to apply or is it more of a biography? How would you describe it? Yeah, it's definitely practical strategies, but the strategies are, are ways of uh, thinking um, and ways of like breaking down your, 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 your fears and the barriers, right? Because I'm, I'm going against the grain, right? Like you go to a, a financial planner and they're like, how can we get you the highest number possible? Right. And I, I'm about net fulfillment over net worth. Okay. Right. I, I don't, I don't care what your number is. I, I, I care that you get what the best ride you possibly could. And when I say possibly could, I mean, of your own choices. Like everybody has different choices of what they would like to experience in life, right? Like when they were 17, 18, they were like, I wanna do this and I wanna do that, and whatever it is, right? And then somehow you get in the grind and, you, and the grind is everything, right? For, mm -hmm. for a lot of us, right? Or, or we just don't think that it's ever gonna end. We behave like life just goes on forever and ever and ever for us and it doesn't. And so, you know, I, I, I give you kind of the way of thinking and methodology and, and some tools and tips that you can do to help break autopilot and, and, and get you on that that adventure that you want, whichever adventure you choose. Now, I don't tell you how to live. I tell you basically how to think in order to get those things you want out of life. We also procrastinate our lives and living. Mm -hmm. And so when this, you know, the deadlines help you get shit done, you know, like, you know, without deadlines, sometimes people never do anything, you know? Um, and so this is the actual dead line, you know? <laughs> Emphasis on dead. <laughs> wow. And so, and so I, I, that, that, that wakes me up to get shit done. And, and the shit is, you know, I want to help this person. I want to do this charity. I want to go here. I want to say, I love you this many times. I want to, you know what I mean? I want to spend time with my friends and family and doing X, Y, Z, you know, whatever it is, whatever it is. Oh, well, I cannot wait to read this. It really sounds interesting. So how can I get my hands on a book? Where can people buy it? You, they can buy it everywhere you can buy it everywhere of course i will sign your book if you buy it or i'll give you one of course but you, people can buy it everywhere uh you can one click amazon it you can barnes and noble it you can go to your local bookstore if it's open in these times uh, you know it's there you can kindle it and you know i think a lot of people audiobook 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 is is same day you can get the audiobook and uh, is it your so voice it's, it's everywhere it is my voice. I hate my voice. Like, you know, I, I think I'm, I, I'm, I listen to my voice. Fuck. No. I, I, I'm... You've got a great voice. <laughs> but, Trust uh, me, everyone feels that way when they hear themselves back. You've got a great voice. And that, it's important, yeah, I think, so, when the author reads the book themselves because it comes with the right authenticity. Yeah. It's my voice, my stories, uh, my words. So it'll be great. As soon as you get off that boat, I want my signed copy, Bill. I'm holding you to that. You got it. You got it. You got it, of course. All right. Well, make sure you pick up Bill's book. This really sounds pretty amazing. It could change your life. If you want to take a deep dive into the behind the scenes and the creation of the WPT, then Joe Ingram has two really good podcasts for you this week. Firstly, we have a chat with Steve Lipscomb. He is the founder of the WPT, the man that we can thank for the creation of it in the first place. So what the hell were you thinking back in the day when you decided, hey, I'm gonna start a poker series, a poker event, a poker show that doesn't look super seedy, it's not in a back room, it's not like, you know, it was a very nice production. It seemed like you had a vision for a, a different way that poker could be presented. I feel like the luckiest guy in the world because of all the people who we got to work with and all the people whose energy came together to sort of essentially transform poker into something that you didn't have to sheepishly tell someone you did. Mm -hmm. And at our first final table at Bellagio, three of the six players had not told their family what they did for a living. Think about that. Right. I mean, you were, 
within two years, you were the hit of your family reunion. And so broader vision was pretty simple. It was, let's take this thing that the New York Times said 20 million U.S. citizens were doing on a regular basis, brand it, make it into the NBA of poker, and long-term create a sports franchise. And when the business plan was written in 2001 and Lyle Berman and Lakes Entertainment came in to fund it, the whole idea in that five-year business plan was we're going to do everything those sports do in order to transform this into an actual sport. And the crazy thing was that it worked. Wherever you're watching this video, the link should be below to that podcast. It's on Joe Ingram's YouTube channel. Um, but that's not it. Joe also had a great chat with WPT CEO and President Adam Pliska. Take a look. Every location has a different appeal to it. Um, but there's something personal to me that I, I do want to point out. When I was a kid, uh, my father was a sheriff. My mom was a homemaker. Um, you don't when that's your dynamic, you don't fly to Europe for your vacation. You know, you, you get in your car and you drive and that's where you're going to go. And you might go camping with the Boy Scouts and that kind of stuff. So we didn't have we didn't have money to travel. I never traveled out of the country until I was 23. And then the next time I had traveled significantly, I was 29. Wow. And now I've been I've operated in 50 countries. And so to me, when you see those things on there, you're seeing a little kid who's like, I cannot, it's like I won the friggin' lottery every single day. Yeah. And I, this is my job to meet people. And to go, I, I really do love it. I mean, I'm not just posting it like, oh, this is so cool. No, it's like, I can't believe that from where I came from, that this is a possibility. And what I learned is, it's not the Eiffel Tower that makes it great. It's the people that you meet along the way. Mm -hmm. And so if I can share that with the people on, on in poker, then I, I feel like I've succeeded. To watch both of those conversations and plenty more, just head to Joe Ingram's YouTube channel. And Joe also had some pretty nice comments to say about World Poker Tour's home for online poker, Club WPT. For Club WPT specifically, right, this has been around, you started this in, in what, like 2008, I think it was? She started this yeah, uh -huh. about, about over 10 years ago. And this uses a very different model. When I was based, when I, when I put up there and I said I was going to do some content on where to play online poker in America, people pointed out Club WPT. Hadn't really thought about that as an option because it isn't necessarily real money. But when I look more into it, it is, you can win money on there, but you can still play poker. And debatably, it's one of the best options that you can do. Now, if your goal is like, I want to yeah. win a massive prize, and which is like, an appeal to a lot of people out there that might not be the best sure. option because you can go on some other sites and you can potentially turn a small amount of money into a large amount of money. But if you just want a fun place to play and a safe place to play and a place that I think you're going to not be able to find too much people that are trying to game the system, it seems like a really great option for a lot of people to, to yeah. learn the game. If you haven't played on Club WPT, um, you can watch me, Vince, Tony, and Matt. We stream every weekend on Twitch if you want to check it out. Uh, there's plenty uh, that you can go back and watch from old streams or join us on the weekends. And it's a great time. We've got the stream team community there. We all play in the same bounty events. Each of us stream our own bounty event. And it just it feels like the closest thing to having a home game or that real life experience because we're all in there chatting and we're all playing in that same tournament and I usually bust out pretty soon so then I fire up a sit and go with the stream team and it's just a really good time. But if you haven't tried Club WPT, it's a 14 day free trial uh, and there's no purchase necessary. So you can just give it a shot. There's $100,000 in cash and prizes every month. Plus now we have a new level of membership. It's called Diamond. So it's a little bit more expensive but you have access to even more cash and prizes every month on top of the 100,000 every month. Plus, and each of those events that are on top of are exclusive just to Diamond members, which is of course a smaller pool of membership, meaning you've got smaller fields that you're playing against. And then you also have a bunch of other perks like access to a Learn WPT membership, which is worth $99 a month. And Learn WPT is such a great site to um, advance your game. You can learn from the best minds in the game, like Vanessa Selbst, Lucky Chewy, Tony Dunst, Nick Binger. I mean, that's just priceless in itself. So head to clubwpt.com for more information. And finally, we have a brand new episode every Sunday night on Fox Sports. If you're in the US, 
It's 8 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, 11 p.m. Eastern. Tonight, this episode is the second part of the Season 17 Barkwara Crystal Tournament of Champions. It is our flagship event of the season. It's a star-studded event. Only WPT champions can play in this event. So, of course, the final table is there. That's it for me this week. Thanks so much for joining me for another epic week on the WPT. And we have so much coming up this week with the World Online Champs. Again, just head to um, Party Poker's Twitch account for so much of that uh, streamed content and check out PartyPokerLive.com for all of what's coming up with the schedule. There's so much to play. There's so many ways to enter the bigger events. There's mini and micro versions of all of our championship events, so it's really accessible to any budget. And of course, then you've got satellites and, and different paths, pathways to get into our big events. But if you prefer to just sit back and watch, there's plenty of that as well. And Matt Savage is running and most of our commentary, same with James Dempsey, me, Vince and Tony will be popping in as well. There's so much going on. Uh, thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next week on the WPT.